Now then, as I say in the next clip, we've got something different here. And it is a Lister JK four-cylinder diesel engine. I think probably from marine routes. It looks like a marine engine. Anyway, it's a stationary with a big 30 kilowatt or 32 kilowatt generator on the end so we finally got it going and anybody who knows about these things um, some info would be wonderful especially about the generator so at the moment we can't get any power out of it I suspect well it has been stood for a long time so we might have to put some DC in there somewhere to get some residual magnetism going anyway as I say um, any info would be greatly appreciated so let's crack on with the video now then just something a bit different I was asked to look at this Lister four-cylinder diesel um, stationary generator set and today what we've been doing is just trying to get the engine running apparently it did run about seven years ago and we did a lot of messing about we got uh, two 12 volt batteries there to get us spinning over and it was quite difficult to get the system bled properly and if you look up there on top of the radiator that is the fuel supply so we fill that with diesel from that drinks can anyway it is now full and we've had it running it took quite a lot of messing around to find out exactly what was the problem and I'm just going to show you just for those generator people who are interested in this sort of thing but it's quite an old Lister four cylinder and on the top they does have let me just see on each rocker box if I can pull, pull here it does have individual decompressors there and it does have a crank handle so you can theoretically start it with a uh, by hand but I'll just show you where we had the problem we eventually found it through trial and error because uh, I don't know anything about these uh, engines so let's go and have a look so there's cylinder number one nearest the radiator and down there you could see the diesel pump with the four diesel lines and then coming on to the front of the pump there's that big nut and then there's a shaft which is the control of the pump and that was seized in or very tight or something like that so we finally got that to move and um, we got it to start so let's do a start shall we So we'll just make sure the, the very small fuel tank is full of diesel. I think it is. And we don't have any start, so basically you just press the solenoid with your foot. Uh, but of course, first of all, we just need to uh, connect the battery up.
So there we go. Now, down there, you should be putting DC into that. I think 24 volts. And that is part of the governor. So now we've uh, uh, freed off the governor shaft. It actually needs 24 volts to go into that solenoid there to make sure that the it, the pump is open enough to get full revs. At the moment, you see, I had to put my hand in there and pull that control rod. Now we've freed it off. It's wanting to uh, to go back to tick over or even stop. So we'll leave it at that. It was quite an exciting two or three hours to try and sort that one out, but at least we've got some life out of it now. And it runs really smoothly and quite cleanly, considering it's been sat for seven, eight, nine years, something like that. And only then it was just run for a short time. Catch up with you soon. Hope you've enjoyed this. Cheers for now. Do you remember, Fred? Eighty-two horsepower at fifteen hundred revs. Number one, nine O J K four R one seven. bit difficult because I'm right up against the wall here. And there's the diesel pump down there you see. So it's not the easiest thing in the world to get to because of this guard. Anyway, that's just a little bit extra. It's a bit tricky. But for those uh, Lister enthusiasts, at least it gets a bit more information.